hey guys welcome back to the channel today i'll be teaching you how to make some chicken quesadilla really really yummy roma's kitchen style to start i'm using two chicken breasts that i've already washed and sliced my chicken breast into two so i have four pieces and to season i'm going to go in with a teaspoon of onion and garlic powder a half teaspoon of salt and pepper chili flakes cayenne pepper cumin and oregano so i'm just you can just give this a mix and then you add it all on your chicken and then you ensure that you massage all that seasoning all in your chicken ensure that all pieces are fully covered and this has a little bit of spiciness to it really yummy now I'm adding here a teaspoon of oil I should have added it in the beginning but that's okay I'm going to rub it together once again then I'm going to leave this for about five to six minutes to sit now here in my pot I'm just adding you can add about two teaspoons to a tablespoon of oil then you add the chicken pieces you don't need a lot of oil for this and ensure that your pot is over like medium low heat because you don't want to be frying the chicken really to get it crispy you kind of want to steam the chicken in a way um, I'm not a big fan of chicken breasts so when I'm making my chicken breasts I have to ensure that it is really juicy and in order for you to get a nice and soft you know juicy chicken breast is to ensure that you don't fry it really dry so you just need about two minutes on each side and once inside is nice and tender you can just check a little piece and then that's good you want this really juicy you don't want to be chewing this all day you want you know as you bite into a piece of your chicken it basically melts in your mouth really juicy So after about two minutes on each side you can use your you can use your fork or whatever you're using to turn your chicken to kind of poke it to feel that it's nice and soft look at this juice flowing from my chicken nice and juicy it's easy to chew now in the same pot that I was frying the chicken in I'm going to be adding in the vegetables and for the vegetables you can add any vegetables you'd like but I'm just adding basic red and green bell peppers and white onion you can use the red slash purple onion if that's what you have and if you like tomatoes you can go ahead and add some tomatoes as well so what you want to do here is just saute these for a good three minutes or until they're nice and soft so once you're through with that guys back to the chicken I Went ahead and chopped up my chicken into small bite-sized pieces because you don't want to add the whole chicken to your quesadilla. And look at this, guys. So soft. This will literally melt in your mouth. Really juicy chicken breast we have here, guys. So next, you're going to need some tortillas. And you can pick these up at any store. I'll link them in the description box also. Here, I'm just going to brush the side that will be going in the pan or on the little grill with some oil use the oil of your choice flip that now this is one method of doing it you add some cheese to half um, half of the tortilla you can add as much as much cheese as you like and your favorite cheese next I'm adding the pieces of chicken on top of that you can add as much chicken as you like but you know you have to bear in mind that you're going to be folding this next go ahead and add the nice soft sauteed bell peppers and onion add them all on top of your chicken then you're going to cover that with some more cheese use any cheese you'd like then you're going to fold that and rest it aside and method two no folding you still brush the side that will be going on your pan flip it and then for the entire tortilla you're going to fill it with cheese you're going to cover this with cheese then you're going to cover the surface again with your chicken pieces you're doing the same th thing as before it's just that you won't be folding this one fill it up with chicken 
Next, we're going to fill this up with some more sauteed vegetables. Lovely. Then you add some more cheese on top of this. All right, that's good enough for me. Then you add another tortilla on top and brush that with some oil. Now here's my little hot grill thingy and I'm just going to add the folded one on it just to show you what I do. I leave this until, you know, I added it to that side because I like to see the grill kind of marks on it. And once you leave that for about two, three minutes or about two minutes, you flip it to get this nice grill mark on the other side. And the cheese will become nice and stretchy and once you're through you remove that from your pan and then you cut this into some triangles so I'm just cutting this into three triangles mm -hmm. and then that's it guys so yummy quesadilla made at home so easy I'm serving this up with some homemade guacamole as well I'll be putting the recipe out for that in another day but this is it guys roma's kitchen style homemade quesadilla spicy chicken really really nice you can add any filling to this beef or whatever you want to add but the recipe was so simple i think let me know what you think about this recipe in the comment section and let me know if this is something that you're willing to try of course if you like the video don't forget to give the video a thumbs up share the video subscribe to the channel Turn your post notifications on. Visit my website at romaskitchen.net. Until next video.